Hi, I want to talk about uh, Telefonica and Movistar um, in Spain, which are one of the biggest providers here. And the first thing I would say, be very careful on who you buy their services from, because some of the marketing that's going on is almost criminal. Um, I bought mine from, I think it was Movie Fresh or something. Strongly don't advise using them. Um, their marketing techniques are a load of um, lies. Um, just avoid them. Go with anybody else but them, I would say. I would actually advise going by a movie star shop because then you've got a point of contact where you have any problems. Now, this video will actually cover how to contact movie star, which, if you're not a Spanish speaker, can be a bit of a pig. And to be honest, I haven't had any problems with them too much once I started finding a way around this. Um, because within a week of having the internet, it completely went off, phone line went down, got no contact number, can go on the website, but only if I've got an internet connection to go on the website. Um, it was pretty dire. I mean, all I got from uh, Telefonica Movie Star was this little slip of paper that said they had installed it. There was no information on who I should contact. So the next bit of this video will cover how to contact them. Okay, this is a email off Movie Star, as you can see at the top. Uh, the email is just below there. Now, I can't read it because it's in Spanish. So what I do is I highlight the whole email, uh, which is a left click and then right click to copy, as you can see. I then go into Google and just type in Google Translate. So then just paste it into the detect language box. Don't worry, it can find out that it's Spanish. Don't worry about that. My internet's a bit slow today. There you go. That's the message in English. As you can see, um, I'm still having internet problems and just asking how I can get it fixed. Uh, so the other thing here is if you swap it back, um, to the left hand side on the top there, we might not have seen that, but it's a bit quick. The little arrows in the middle, if I press them, it'll move the English into the left hand side because that's an editable box. Then I can type down the email response that I want to put in. Um, and as you can see, it's translating it on the right. When you see the little dot, dot, dots on the right hand side, it's still translating. It's still trying to work out what you're saying. You might not put full word in yet, or it's going to find out what the word is in Spanish. Either way, it's going to take a little while to do it. But when it stops, as you can see, it's now got the whole message. I just copy that. Then I'll click reply. And then just paste. And as you can see, that's the message that I'm sending to them back in Spanish. It may not be 100%, but it's close enough. But that's the email you need. As you can see, it's a fairly simple process. Um, the reason I do it via email is the first thing is, even if you speak a little bit of Spanish, um, because of the speed that people do speak Spanish, it can be quite fast. Um, they do have some English speakers that if you can get through to, um, then you can sort your problem out there. Um, I've heard people say that when there's a gap when you call, you say English and if it repeats it, just say English again until you get through. Um, some of the technologies getting quite good here. Uh, I know, for example, with Libari, you can set it up with your language, then all your text and everything come in your language. Not sure if Movie Star is up to that level yet. Um, but I would say uh, the reason I like email is I can send it and forget about it. Uh, because I know when you're sitting there on the phone for 30 minutes trying to get through to somebody, it can get quite frustrating. Um, if you've got the language issues where you might have to wait for somebody who speaks English as well, you're going to be in the phone longer. 
and trying to get through the phone system in the first place to get to somebody who speaks English isn't an easy process. So just send an email. It makes life easier and you can go out and enjoy your day, come back, you might have an email response. Um, I advise getting email on the phones anyway, so just give them your, your uh, email off your phone so it'll come back to you. And at the end of the day, you're not going to get somebody on the spot come out and fix your internet for you. Um, one thing I would also say about Movistar, um, there, there's a push about it being like 10 meg broadband. It's lies. I mean, I, I will say lies because they say up to, but when somebody knows it isn't going to be anywhere near, I call that lying. Um, for example, when the engineer came out to fit, fit the one here, he's, he's like, no, you got no chance, you know, <laughs> it says one meg's good in this area. So why would somebody turn around and actually try to push it as a 10 meg package when they actually know there's no hope? Um, obviously trading standards don't operate too much here. <laughs> anyway, that's how to deal with it. And this is the email at the bottom if, if you want to contact them. <laughs> um, and strongly advise just doing it by that. You've got a record then. Also, if you want to raise a complaint or cancel their internet, maybe you want to take legal action. Um, if you've got a long list of all the messages you've sent them with your internet problems, you may even, you may even stand up in court. Um, that's another reason I like to keep everything documented. Uh, a phone call, you can write it in your note, notebook that you called them yesterday, but you can have a recording of it. Uh, but emails, You've got that um, resp replies, responses, and a whole list of the problems you've been having over a period of time. To, to add value if you do actually go legal with them. Um, I know even in the Philippines when people have actually kept logs of the issues they've been having and when they're threatened with having to pay X amount of months of payments for internet that's never worked. Um, they just drag all this out and suddenly everything's cancelled and they don't really mind that you don't pay nothing extra because they, in fact, they wasted your time. But yeah, anyway, enough of me nattering up. Thanks for watching.